a thread by Carlos Osuita. Nobody knows how anything works. It's funny because the most ignorant people are the ones who present themselves as the most knowledgeable. Let's look at this from the Portland Police. Tonight, Portland Police were near Lounsdale Square Park. A person pointed out a bag to them. Inside the bag, police found loaded rifle magazines and Molotov cocktails. Now, this is not the sort of ignoramus that I'm talking about. She's honestly asking. CEO of Antifa, Bad Bunny Twitch, replies to Portland police with, whoa, crazy how the paint is still so wet that it's dripping onto your tarp. Why's that? Carlos responds, there's an answer. I'm not going to tell you. All you need to know is the phrase chain of custody or chain of evidence. The feds aim to put people away for many, many years. This is federal stuff. You Antifa idiots finally got what you said you wanted. Now, here we have more experts showing us their butts. Reddit post referring to that picture with the two Molotov cocktails in the rifle magazines, largely saying, ha ha, Nobody makes Molotov cocktails out of mason jars. Nobody ever uses mason jars for Molotov cocktails. Really? Police in Ferguson found this Molotov cocktail hidden in a bush outside of City Hall. It's a picture of a mason jar. And then, of course, uh, Efrata, a soap lake man, allegedly threw a Molotov cocktail at Soap Lake trailer. It's a mason jar. And then, of course, uh, from BeverlySalemNews.com, suspect indicted in discovery of Molotov cocktails. From this article, quote, the indictment handed up last week by an Essex County grand jury charges Stefan Jovic, 23 of 38 Beckford Street, with 24 counts of illegal possession of an incendiary device. That's one count for each of the 24 Molotov cocktails. Mason jars filled with gasoline and oil with a rag for a wick that were discovered in Jovic's car during a search on August 13th. There's a reason why real terrorists use mason jars. Ask the Bureau of Firearms, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Explosives. I'm not going to tell you the reason. Just so you know, I'm not tooting my own horn. This guy is trying to invent a legal Molotov cocktail that can be registered under the National Firearms Act. YouTube video, link in the description, check it out. Obviously, trying to register Molotov cocktails will bring down a hell of a lot of federal scrutiny on you. So it's one of those legal hero splitting things that implacable weirdos come up with. The very action of registering Molotov cocktails will guarantee that you'll be put under surveillance. You're tipping off the feds about your intentions. The problem with anti-government loons is that they always insist on going out and looking for trouble. I watched this video last night and I was glad to see that she's the first person to ever articulate what I've been saying since this clusterfuck took place. YouTube.com video titled, What the Waco Bodies Revealed About the Siege. All right, so now we're talking about Waco. The federal argument was that the Branch Davidians were unstable. So why the hell would they do everything in their power to drive them even crazier? The operation was a disaster from start to finish. What would I have done? I would not have launched a frontal assault on people known to be armed with 50 caliber rifles. And I would have pulled back everyone and asked Koresh, David Koresh, if I could go in alone and talk to him. Wow, I just checked the spelling of his name. And here's how Google describes David Koresh. You type in David Koresh and it comes out American musician. Nice, Google. Anyway, people take the wrong lessons from Waco. At that time, federal law enforcement was a shambles. The leadership was out of its depth. Obviously, the answer is better training and equipment, not defunding or forming militias to fight against them. President Trump and William Barr are proving that the feds can fight crime without using shock and awe. I keep telling you, draw a gun on these people, and they take that as a challenge. No more wars. No more Wacos. 
Democrats want more Wacos. That's why there are professional terrorists involved. You must understand that they're setting a trap for Donald Trump and William Barr. Have members of Congress ever lied like this? They're trying to set up Trump. Breitbart.com, article titled, A.G. Barr calls out Democrats for not condemning mob violence. And more, Democrat Attorney General Ellen Rosenblum, Portland riots, perfectly peaceful. And Seattle, Seattle Mayor Trump doing dry run for martial law and is responsible for riots in city. Best way to have peace is bring more justice. Be under no illusions. The Democrats are not lying in order to make themselves look better. They're lying as the rioters ramp up the violence so that if someone gets killed, the story becomes this. Trump murders peaceful protesters. This is what was done to the Israelis, the Saudis, the Iraqis, and so many others. We have foreign elements here. They have to be Iranian and Lebanese Hezbollah. Military-grade explosives are being used. This was not thrown. I'll show you what happened. All right, check this video out from Andy No. All right. Watch there. Okay, so some, something is hit right, right here in the bottom. Lower left corner, very important, okay? So... We're going to get some classic Carlos analysis now. So bear with me while I make that happen. Okay. Carlos is going to show us what happened. In the lower left-hand corner. All right, here we go. See this thing right here? Lower left-hand corner. All right. Just keep your eye on that. We're going to go through it uh, frame by frame. All right, lower left-hand corner, a guy raises his right hand and slams it down on a kind of detonator. You can see the shadow of his hand lifting and falling. I can't really see it, but maybe you guys can. It's a button or something similar, just in case. We'll just put me out there. You can clearly hear the impact. So definitely go into this thread and check out this video. Then he covers his right ear and face. The explosive has a delay fuse. Okay, so real quick on that. If you watch the video, knowing what to look for, you'll see the hand lift and slam down on the detonator. You'll hear the impact and you'll see the hand cover the ear and face, left hand corner. The thing about this is that radio signals were used. There was no wire between the explosive and the detonator. That would have been seen. This is a major escalation. The guy detonating the explosive is a professional. The thing to do is remain calm. We're in it. The big one. Not a civil war. That won't happen. The goal is to make the feds mow down a bunch of people. Now... You have to be prepared for what may happen next. They'll kill their own to blame on Trump. This is way beyond the point of fighting back with Ben Shapiro words. How can we best help Trump and William Barr? By staying out of it. Don't listen to anyone who calls you a coward. You aren't. Your instinct is correct. Do not engage. This is almost certainly the greatest crisis we've ever faced in that one of our two major parties is engaged in an insurrection using foreign professional terrorists and they think it's justified. Put that out of your minds. This is political suicide for the Democrats. The people helping them know nothing about American culture. The whole thing is beyond backfiring, and terrorism always fails. The silver lining? <laughs> now you know what a real conspiracy is. You can forget about all the horse manure ladled over your head by Alex Jones. Has 
anyone ever shown you how to recognize things for yourself? No. They want to make you dependent on them. I want you to be independent, calm, and confident. We simply can't lose. All of this is being contained. The feds aren't sitting on their hands. Trump is using the flypaper strategy. They've l they're lured to certain places so that they can be arrested and put away for a very long time. Each attack costs them more of their most experienced terrorists, and each attack reveals more of their capabilities. The feds are revealing nothing about their capabilities. Here's what your head would do if I told you about federal capabilities. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> All right. So anyway, that's what your head would do if Carlos told you about federal capabilities. So be happy, warriors. Ignore everyone who tells you that you and Trump and Barr are doing it wrong. This had to happen, and the demon always makes the most commotion before it's forced to leave forever. <laughs>